Hello guys, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentra? Hello teacher, good evening. Good evening. I am driving. I'm a how. Ah, okay, Jamie. In this kind of cases, uh, please just listen the class until you arrive into your home, because safe is first. And let me know. Can you listen me better? Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Are you are you playing with uh, filter? Filter. Okay. Eh, el, okay, chicos, eh, les comento si sí, compré nuevos audífonos, creo que sí me van a poder escuchar un poco mejor. Así es que cualquier inconveniente me lo hacen saber y pues yo haré todo lo posible para poder poderlo solventar. Ahora okay. bien, estaba viendo en el grupo del trabajo que hay alerta verde a nivel nacional debido a que en algunas zonas está lloviendo. Si han dado caso, comienza a llover en su zona, ya saben, reporten por favor esos inconvenientes en el chat del grupo. Por eso lo estoy diciendo en español, para que una vez tengamos un inconveniente con el internet o se fue la luz, pues no se preocupen, solo pongan en el grupo del chat tuve este inconveniente respecto a, y lo ponen. Ahora okay. bien, eh, daremos un minuto más eh, de espera para ver si los demás se van a unir o no por lo mismo. Y mientras tanto, vamos a hacer un pequeño review de lo que ya vimos, chicos. Ok, el día de ayer, el día de ayer comenzamos nosotros aprendiendo about the intonation at the moment to, in question in choice, in the moment to present both choice. The first one and the second one. After that, we start to using would rather and would prefer. You learn how to make questions. And after that, how to answer. Así es que hoy, para comenzar chicos, vamos a comenzar con un knowledge check. And vi que muchos de ustedes estuvieron batallando con él. La pregunta es, ¿quiénes de ustedes lograron terminarlo? Ajá, guys. Me. Brandy and maybe. What about the rest? Jamie? Me, me too, teacher. Thank you, Maximo. I, lo, I only finished first and second. And, and okay. the second part, uh, Algunas. Mm, it's not a problem, Morena. Uh, right now, we will try to... <coughs> sorry. We will try to answer those, those questions. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, right now... Okay, I need a volunteer guy. Who can help me read in these instructions? Brandy? Instruction complete. Go ahead, Morena. Thank you. Instruction complete the conversations with full uh, and appropriate form of the word in parentheses. Some will be in front of infinitive, other just the verbs. Thank you so much. Okay, what we have to do here? We have to <clears throat> use the prepared form of the pair in the in the parentheses. In these kind of cases. Here we have take. We will use the base form or in the infinity form. Vamos a ocupar aquí the infinity. Form. Infinity. We are using prefer. Infinity form. Mm -hmm. It will be two. So two. I will. You. Would you prefer two? Of course. 
in exercise science or nutritional science? It would be here or would be like take, this? take to take. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to take a course in exercise science or nutritional science? Perfect. <clears throat> okay, next one. I prefer for nutritional science course because it's more useful for me in nursing. And the third, it would be base form or infinity form? Infinity, infinity. form. To register. Mm -hmm. Sure. And the next one. Would you rather just... English in Australian or Canada learn? It would be base form or infinity. Base form. Base form. Learn. I think I prefer in Australia because it's warm there. Base. Infinity form. Infinity. I do you need to learn new skill or you prefer to attend a class or a private tutor? Have. Have. Base form. Base form. I'd rather sign up for class, class. For a class than a tutor. Base form or infinity? Base form. Would you, would you rather a choice or an orchestra? A choice or an orchestra? Orchestra. Join. Join. Base form. Base form. I rather in a choir than playing in an orchestra. Sign. Base form. Sign. Okay, guys. Perfect. You did a great job. <clears throat> Ahora pregunto. Porque estaba seguro que en estas íbamos a ocupar la forma del infinity, infinity form. Why are you really sure that we will use this form? Because we use uh, prefer, I prefer, use with rather, I will use just the base form. That's right, that's the rule. Congrats, le congratulations, guys. And right now we will continue. Our next exercise is a listen exercise. Listen to three people talk about the part-time course. They look recently what course did each person take. Listen carefully, guys. Okay, just a second. We can hear nothing if you play. I'm truly really sorry. <clears throat> it's okay. But thank you, Ren. Part-time courses they... Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait. That's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? 
What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. 2. Rich So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? 3. Gwen I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay, guys. <clears throat> uh, we already listened to three uh, parts of the audio. And let me know what was the course that Linda take. African dance and samba. Ah, and what was the reason that she takes that uh, that course? Because she can feel more. Ah, uh, uh, I forget the word. Confident. Ah, uh, I forget the word. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. But okay, it's African dance. What about the Rich, what was the course that Rich take? Vegetarian cooking. And the reason? It's because nowadays many people are um, vegetarian. And yes. that's the way who in this uh, course, they teach how to prepare the vegetable and without lost the Vitamins, the vitamin side. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. And uh, is Rich a vegetarian? Ah, uh, he doesn't. Perfect. And what what about Gwen? What was the course that Gwen takes? How uh, to run a small business. Oh, that's perfect. How to run a small business. And why? What was the reason? One, two, three. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Because guys. it's so useful nowadays because uh, you can, even if she doesn't have a, a small business, she can manage the money. So the other and ask, ask her if she can help him uh, to manage the money. Yes. It was so All useful. Right. Thank you, guys. You did a great job. <clears throat> I I already asked uh, the last question in each part in order to know if you uh, pay more attention, not just for the specific part that we uh, watch there. Because sometimes, uh, pay attention in the little details. It could help you to understand a little bit better uh, what is the <clears throat> uh, the main idea 
best person wants to talk with you. Okay, it's time to continue. And right now, we will watch uh, something about by plus gerund in context. Okay, what happened about this? Okay, first of all, we'll watch a video how uh, explain how the people give some advice and they will use this. In this video, you will be able to see a little conversation. We will watch the video and then in the two parts of the conversation and after that, we will try to practice the first one. Uh, I will need two volunteers who can help me. Mm -hmm. If nobody wants to participate, you always can come with me. <laughs> but I need someone else. Uh, right now, for what, teacher? Uh, it would be the part of 3.7. Okay. And Okay, maybe, Jamie, can you help us? Roberto. No, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, first of all, we will watch the video. Please pay attention of all, everybody about the, all the video, because you will learn about these aims. Right now, I will play it. Just let me share the screen again. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? 1. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know I put all the words together that have to do with food, or work, or home, or school. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. 2. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on a discussion box. Okay, guys. Antes de discutir eh, cuáles fueron las últimas dos advice uh, how to improve uh, our language or how to learn a new language, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Y para eso vamos a ayudar la siguiente. Maybe. Yes, it's a Jamie. Okay, maybe. <coughs> I need that you read Kelly and Jamie will be reading the one part. Let me know when you will be ready. 
if you need. Okay, I'm I'm ready now. Okay, what about maybe? Ready. Okay, go ahead, guys. So, how's your French class going? Not bad. I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language cities. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new what? Sorry. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Thank you, guys. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You did a great job. I like to use your fluency, your ability. I like the way uh, that maybe who read this part. Let me write this. This word. The, uh, this word. I like that way. Also, I like uh, the way that uh, <clears throat> Jamie who read this part. I don't have any uh, any part that I tell you how to pronounce because you did a great job. And right now, it's time to discuss, guys. What was the two, okay, what was the first of the two advice that we received in the second part of the video? The girl said that she has a book, like a dictionary, where she write every word that, that she learned in alphabetic order. And the guy said that he made cards with with the word in one side and the meaning in the other side. That's right. And so we remember what was the last thing that she said at the end of the audio. Uh, she said that she really believed that the only way to memorize new words, to learn new words, is by memorizing. That's right. What about that? What do you think about it? Do you think it's true? Do you think it's... Okay, I, I would like to know what, it, what do you think about it. Well, we had to. It's like when we are a child and we have to learn how to say something and we have to memorize. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? What about you, Raul? What do you think is the best way to uh, learn new vocabulary? Memorize or it's another way? Um, I think uh, uh, it's a good way to learn new vocabulary. Is to write words and and then um, after uh, go to sleep, uh, uh, you uh, read um, you read uh, before to sleep. Real, I have a good one. Is that a good one? Uh, thank I mean, you. Go ahead, Brandy. I mean, for me, learn, for example, English, the best way for learn is teaching because it's like a, you double check the word and you can uh, you can hear if somebody pronounce uh, good or not this word. So that's the way that you, you have to learn like two, mm -hmm. in two times. And what happens when you find um, an uncommon word? Um, what do you mean? What is uncommon? Not uncommon or not common? Ah, I, well, in my case, I try to use 
like uh, when the first time when I hear like uh, by the way. <laughs> Perfect. What about the rest? What about you, Marina? What is the best way to learn new vocabulary for you? Mm, one of the best way is when you read and you uh, you look the word and then you can repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. That way is one of the best for me. And then try to use when I speak that word. That's perfect. If you see, guys, the three, uh, the three advice that you already provide are similar for the idea of the girl share at the end of the of the TV. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, the way, but it's, it's like memorized. If you use every time and every time, you are making that your mind or your brain memorize that word. And how, not just memorize how to pronounce it, also when you have to pronounce. It's the same uh, with Raul. Uh, Raul, you uh, told us about a way to learn new vocabulary that is correct before sleep. Uh, some some science studies uh, says that is the best way when we learn when we sleep. Some military people use that way in order to learn new things. Okay, guys, right now we will continue with our agenda for today. <clears throat> and right now, a second, let me this. Okay, right now we will continue with by plus. Gerald, if you notice in the previous video, yeah, to be every night before I go to sleep, uh, the guy expressed the way how to learn new things with buy. For example, this one you could improve your accent by listening to language city. And the other one, I learned new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper. If you see, that is the structure. When we have to place, we will watch a video in order to discover what would be the best to use and the structure about just let's see. pay attention guys something can be done number two to describe how something was done welcome this time we'll talk about by plus gerund and its three uses number one to say how something can be done number two to describe how something was done and number three to describe how something could be done Remember, you could improve your grammar by taking notes. Page 53, exercise nine, grammar focus. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things. The best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. Let's go over each use of by plus gerund. Ready? Number one, to say how something can be done. For example, you can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, to describe how something was done. Example, I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. Number three, to describe how something could be done. One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. 
Just remember to always use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Can you share with us some advice to improve and get better in English? What has worked for you? Type your answers so others may follow your advice. To describe... Okay, guys. First of all, I would like to know what do you think about the video? Uh -huh, guys, lo escucho. I think we can... We can use by plus gerund to express in three ways how how to how something can can be done, how something was done, and how something could be done mm -hmm. in okay. the past, present, and future. Uh, it's not some. It's not future. It could be a probably. Probability. It could be a prob. It's more like a probability. How could? Podría. Tú lo puedes decir, pero realmente sí, seguro, no es. Por eso es could. Aunque tiene cierto grado de certeza en el inglés, mucho más que might. Ok, right now, guys. Muchas gracias, Jamie. Como nos ha explicado Jamie, es cierto, nosotros podemos ocupar este by plus gerund at the moment to express how can, how cool, and also how what. And right now, I would like to ask you in which part of the sentence we will place that. In which part of the sentence we will place by plus gerund? After the thing that we need to do. Exactly. Sorry, uh, it, it would be before. Before the thing that we need to do. Mm, okay. So we will place by plus gerund after the main idea. For example, what is the necessity of that people? Let's improve the English or improve the accent. accent. Ah, you could improve the accent, the main idea. Then, by plus in the gerund, by listening and the complement or the solution in this kind of cases to solve that same necessity to language CD. Okay. What about this one? And okay, friend, I learned new word best by writing them on a piece of paper and is sticking them on things. What is the best position on this sentence? The same idea as you said. Mm -hmm. is, it is going to be after the main idea and the complement would, would be after by plus zero. Exactly. And I would like to show uh, you something. This one. If you see, it's not a buy. What is this? What's the name of this word? A conjunction. It's like it's better known like linking word or preposition sometimes. Okay, when we use a preposition after a preposition, we will place an ing when it comes to parents. If you place that and you don't have to add a second 
buy a sticker. No, because you are used at the beginning. Ah, okay, but what about the next one? Ah, this proposition is different. Because right now, this proposition is to add something. But in this one, it's to make contrast on the set. The best way to learn a slang is not by reading newspaper, but it's watching movies. Okay. Okay. The worst idea to learn uh, a slang is reading. Is it reading? Watching is the best. Okay. In this kind of cases, yes. You will use the buy here. Any uh, question about the deal? Muy bien, los veo bastante confiaditos, guys. En ese caso, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a necesitar, bueno, le voy a dar ahorita tres minutos para que ustedes me hagan un ejemplo o usando Bye, plus Jaron. Then, dígame la mejor forma de cómo puedo, how can I improve eh, my kitchen? Your what? My kitchen. Your what? Uh, the way of kitchen. To cook. Oh, sorry, how can I improve my cook? My cooking. I cook. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How to cook. siento que me pinté por un ratito. Sorry guys, but I didn't understand what we, what we are going to do. No entendí. Este, ¿Cómo decirle a él que puede uh, como mejorar su forma de cocinar? Excelente. Muchas okay, gracias. Thank you. Eh, muy bien, Morena. Excelente. Quiero mostrarle. Esa es la fórmula o la, eh, la estructura que se va a ocupar. Puedo ocupar cualquiera de estas como le comentaba al inicio usted va a poner ah you could improve eh, the way of cook by watching cooking videos pues okay, puede... got it. okay. okay. ¿Eh? dudas o consultas me encontraré aquí guys Tienen hasta las 
Ok, guys. Eh, muchas gracias, Jaime. We can improve the way we cook by reading new receipts. Excelente. Vamos a ver, Raúl. You could improve your cook by watching TV programs about it. Perfect. Ajá. Ahora bien. Vamos a ver. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Señorita, maybe. ¿Nos podría dar su ejemplo, por favor? I was typing it, but I'm going to read it. One way to improve your cooking is by watching video receipts. But mm -hmm. by taking some professional classes. By taking. Mm -hmm. By taking some professional classes. <laughs> uh -huh. Pero, um, okay, it would be like you could improve your cook watching video receipts. Video receipts. But by taking some professional classes. You could, it would be the best way. Exactly. Ah, uh, you can add that part. By, uh, but by taking professional classes, you will learn fast, or it will be the best way. Thank you, maybe, I yeah, so much. What about you, Brandy? Um. Uh, you can improve your cook by watching videos, or you can say by taking a course, but talking with your family could be better. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, Morena, would you like to try? Oh. Yes, I will. Okay. Okay. Good. You could improve your cooking by reading a cuisine books, or you could improve your skill in the kitchen by watching TV cooking programs. Mm, you did a great job. Thank you, so you guys. Muy bien, guys. Tengo buenas noticias para ustedes. La primera es que hemos completado por fin nuestra agenda para este día. Hoy sí lo logramos hacer a tiempo y tenemos tiempo para practicar nuestro reading. Muy bien. Ahora bien, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Tengo algo en el chat. Muchas gracias, Máximo. The best way to improve my cook is by watching cooking video online with expert in it. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Okay. But now when I, but now when I, I improve um, cooking in my house, is watching TikToks. <laughs> yes, it's a good idea in order to improve that. Uh, right now, guys, it's time to stop here. And Tomorrow, we will do this part. The knowledge check about by plus your and our reading part two. But right now, we will read in the Principito. Okay, who will be my first victim? Jancy, can you help us? Hello. Hello, Jancy. Uh, did you send a number on the group? Yes, and I've already read it. Ah, yes, sorry. I didn't recognize your name right now. I already watched the, your face. Yes, you did yesterday. In this kind of cases, Marina. Can you help us? Yes, teacher. What 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 were the numbers that you choose? Five. 
and 50. Mm, Uh, here. Okay, Marina, can you help us with this part? Okay. The little the little prince sat down on the table and panted. A little. He had already traveled so much and so far. Where do you come from? The old gentleman said to him, What is that big book? said the little prince. What are you doing? I am a geographer, said the old gentleman. What is a geographer? asked the little prince. A geographer is a scholar who knows the location of the of all the seas, rivers, towns, mountains, and deserts. Perfect. You did a great job, Marina. Did you practice this too? Mm, a little teacher. <laughs> but uh, I don't know the the pronunciation pronunciation of Geographer. Okay. Geographer. Yeah. Geographer. Okay, let me verify. Geographer. Geographer. Thank you. Okay. And and right now, uh, Jamie, can you help us, please? Hello. Okay, JB, what was the second number that you chose? Number 22. Two. The first one. Yes. The first one is not here, is this one. Yo, mire, yo no Can you see here? To here? Okay. I sort out, I sort out travelers in bundles of Dawson, said the switchman. I send off the, the trains that carry them now to the right, now to the left. And a brilliantly lighted express train shocked the switchman's cabin as it trussed by with a roar like thunder. They are in a great hurry, said the little prince. What are they looking for? Not even the locomotive engineer knows that, said the switchman. In a second brill brilliantly lighted express thundered by in the opposite direction. Are they coming back already? demanded the little prince. Yay, me. You did a great job. Really, Thank really you. good work. But I would like to repeat this work. Russia. Russia. Okay. Russia. 
que ese es igual a que uno se da con C, C, H, S, H, X, 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 Rushed. 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 Okay. But, okay. Okay. Right now, who will be the next one? Okay. Brandy, you will be the next one. What were your numbers? Oh. I didn't say nothing, but you can choose one. It's okay. I no, will try. You have to choose one. Everybody. It's up to you. No. Uh, three. Number three. Okay, can you read here? Here. Can you do the word a little bit bigger, please? Lights. Okay. It took me a long time to learn where he came from. Uh, the little prince who asked me so many questions never see me to hear the one I asked him. It was from words dropped by chain that little by little, everything was revealed, revealed, revealed to me. I can't pronounce this word. The first time he saw me, er, he saw my airplane. For instance, I shall not draw my airplane. That will be much too complicated for me. He asked me, what is that object? Thank you. And the word that you want to know how to pronounce is this one, right? Revived. Revived to me. Verify. Revealed. 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 Okay, I got it. Revealed. Revealed. Okay, Revealed. but you did a great job. And right now, is the turn of maybe, maybe, what were your numbers? I didn't choose any number, but you can assign me whatever you want. <laughs> no, you have to choose one. Everybody choose a number. Yeah, but I, I didn't choose any anyone. Yeah. You're too like me. Just say a number. Yeah. Say a number. Uh, Terry? Terry. Ten. Ten. Ah, ten, 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 ten. Yes, ten. yes, yes. <laughs> ten, ten, ten. Okay. This will be a good one. Can you read this part? Okay. He found 
itself in the neighborhood of the asteroid 325, 326, 327, 328, 329, and 330. He began, therefore, by visiting them in order to add to his knowledge. The first of them was inhabited by a king, clad in royal purple and ermine. He was seated upon a throne which was at the same time both simple and majestic. Thank you, maybe You did that excellent job. I like the way that you read this part. And I also, I was the pronoun wrong. Wrong. And Ermin. Ermin. Ermin? Ermin? Ermin. 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 I will show you right now. Ermin. Ermin. Yeah. Siren was wrong to Siren. Ermin. Ermin. Okay. And, okay, guys. And it's two minutes left to finalize the class. And right now we are ready almost practice everybody. For tomorrow, I will uh, choose for the reading parts to Raul, Maximo, and Morena. They will be the first three people to participate tomorrow. Uh, please, think about your numbers, and if you can practice, it would be great. Uh, right now, let me know, do you have any doubt or question about the angst that we watched today? No, now was very clear because I can hear, I hear you very well this class <laughs> okay thank you so much uh yes i need a new uh, headset but uh, i didn't notice until this class okay guys uh for tomorrow uh, i need that you try to do the meal current exam by yourself in your free time if you are not able to do it because you work all the day or you have classes on the university or some duties on the house, don't worry because we will try to answer at the end of the class. What will be the agenda for tomorrow? Well, uh, we will uh, finalize the section three. We will try to make a little recap or review about the section one, two, and three before May the Nicker exam. Doubts or question, guys? No. Okay, guys, it was more than a pleasure being with you this night. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.